Hey, Merry Christmas from Post Community Church. We are so glad you're joining us here online today. We have a special service for you. This is when our staff and families met a few weeks ago for a Christmas dinner that we put this together. We're going to have a time of singing, and then Jeff is going to share the Christmas story with us. Now, before we get started, we do have song lyrics available for you. If you have not downloaded those already, you can go right back to FosChurch.com. And one of the uh, items scrolling on the homepage that goes by there will say uh, song lyrics for this service. Uh, you can click on that. It's a PDF file. And uh, feel free to go ahead and print that off, uh, as many copies as you need. And uh, come back to this. So if you need to, pause this for a second, take care of that, and then come back and join us. Uh, we're going to sing together and then again hear the Christmas story from Jeff. If you would like to give today, you can do that at postchurch.com slash give. It's right here, the tab on the website that says give. Uh, you can do that securely online. If you would like to mail a gift in before the end of the year, it just needs to be postmarked by December 31st, and you can count that on your uh, 2016 charitable giving. And the uh, website or the mailing address is listed here on the website, box 333 in Buckner, Kentucky. Thanks again, and Merry Christmas. You do. All right, are ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. No one's ready. Joy to the world. Joy, see 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Welcome to Christmas with the Fos team. We're so glad that you joined us here today online. And uh, we love being with you live, but we felt like it was a great day for you to be with your families and celebrate Christmas with them. So Merry Christmas from all of us. Thanks for joining us here today. And we want to take a few minutes and just remind you of the greatest story that was ever told, the greatest story that was uh, ever created by God himself. Uh, he sent his son, as you know, to the world to do something amazing. And I want to bring you back into that story for just a minute as you celebrate Christmas wherever you are today and to remind you of all that God has done for us. You know, um, you're really familiar with the story probably and of an angel coming to a young lady named Mary and of what he said to her and what she said back. So I want to bring you back into that story because God sometimes whispers into our ears. Sometimes the same way that an angel came to Mary Sometimes God comes to us, and he invites us into his story. He invites us into his drama. He invites you into the middle of something he wants to do for the world. It wasn't just Mary's story. It's our story. And so this Christmas, I want you just to think, what would it have been like to be Mary or Joseph, to be the ones invited into the middle of the drama that God was going to bring to the world that first Christmas? Because Christmas is still happening. And it's still joy to the world, and Jesus is still breaking forth all over the world in different ways. And he does it through you, and he does it through me. And he does it through whispers, maybe not through angels so much, but through Holy Spirit nudgings and things you wonder about. And sometimes a scripture that speaks to you that calls you out. And some of you have something that God wants to do through you in the year ahead. And he'll whisper that to you, and he'll ask you to participate with him, to join him in the drama he's still writing and bringing hope to the world and bringing joy to the world. And maybe you're one who's going to do that. But just like the story suggests, Mary and Joseph didn't just get an invitation. They said yes. And so this Christmas, I want you to wonder and to think about, to pray about what your invitation might be, what God might want to do through you to bring hope and joy to the world in this coming year. So, as we hear this story, be invited back into it. Be invited back into the drama. And no, it's not just Mary and Joseph a long time ago. It's you and it's me and it's your family. And whether we'll say yes to God, who wants to still do something to bring joy and hope to the world through you and through me. Hoping you'll say yes and be reminded of the power of all that God wants to do in us. So, let's hear this story together. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. And she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of the father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and ever, and his kingdom will never end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come, come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And this is the pivotal point in the story. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. You see, when God wants to bring hope to the world, when he wants to change the world, he invites us into the drama. And sometimes that's a little bit scary. Sometimes it's uncertain. Well, that's not really true. All the time it's uncertain. And all the time it's scary. And all the time we wonder what God might do and how he's going to do it. And sometimes we wonder if we're good enough. We wonder how he could use you or me because we're really not the kind of stuff that miracles are made of. But it's not really about us. It's about the Holy Spirit. and It's about what he wants to do in us and for us. But it takes... A yes, it takes you and me saying yes into the story when God whispers into our ears. When he wants to bring hope to the world, he does it through you and he does it through me. He did it then, he still does it today. 
And I'm hoping we'll all live into that drama. Let's go on with the rest of the story. This is the part we've all been waiting for. Every Christmas, this is the best part. In those days, a, a decree went from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was the governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they, filled, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people, even for little bitty people like this one. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary, she treasured up all those things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And you see it all throughout the story young man and young woman who say yes, and shepherds who say yes, and angels who say yes, and Jesus, the Son of God, who said yes. That's how miracles happen in the world then. That's how they happen today. So as we celebrate Christmas, my hope, my prayer for you, for us, for all who celebrate Christmas, is that we'd be people that hear from God, and that we'd be people that would say yes when He invites us into His story. So from us to you, Merry Christmas.